everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you seven things you should never ever do at Disneyland. And if you don't do these seven things, you're gonna have a fantastic time. So let's talk about what not to do at Disney. It's kind of like a double negative. What don't, don't do, we shouldn't do do. Whatever you do, how do you do that voodoo that you do so well? These seven things you should never do at Disneyland. All right, so put it down in the comments down below. I want you to write the word about doo-doo. D-O-D-O. -D -O. Hey, it's Dodo. I don't know if you have ever made any of these mistakes. Now, here's the thing. Is you're getting ready to come down to your big... Oh, hi, guys. Okay, so the big moment's arrived. You're finally here. Your family's on vacation. You guys are... You've been saving. You're like, oh, we're here. You want to have some fun. So there's some things that you can do to make your trip a little bit better. Actually, there's seven things you shouldn't do to make your trip a little bit better. And these are the simple things you can do. But by doing these seven things, your trip is going to be better. You have a more enjoyable experience. Number one thing. Well, actually, let's do this reverse. Let's do it better. The number seven thing you should never do, shoes. What? Shoes. A lot of times people, when they get ready to go on vacation, what do they do? They buy brand new shoes, they get some brand new shoes, they're excited, they're gonna break in the shoes. You don't wanna wear brand new shoes when you come to Disneyland. You are going to do a lot of walking. And then when I say a lot, I mean a lot of walking. You want comfortable shoes. So if you are gonna buy new shoes before your trip, wear them around for a week or two to kind of break them in. So when you come here, you're not gonna get blisters and the shoes are already broken in. You don't wanna be misfortunate and like have, you don't want blisters. You don't want feet pain when you're here at Disneyland. That is the worst, that nothing's gonna ruin your trip faster than that. So make sure you're wearing very comfortable shoes that are broken in. That is the number seven thing not to do, bring brand new shoes. In fact, I bought brand new shoes before my trip I, I bought them from a guy. I think he was a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced my shoes with because I've been tripping all day. What? 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 A little, little shoe humor. Okay. Moving on. The number six thing you should never do in Disneyland: parade planning. What? Yeah, you should never do this. I'll tell you exactly what that means. They have a parade route that goes right along here. And so sometimes people who come to Disneyland for the very first time, they're very excited. They want to see the parade. They want a good spot to see the parade. So they'll save a spot. Sometimes people bring chairs. Thinking, uh, hey, I'll bring some chairs. I'll put them up. You cannot bring any chairs inside Disneyland at all. Not even little ones, not like, like a, no, no folding chairs. No chairs are allowed inside Disneyland. So you don't bring chairs, else you'll lose them at security. That happens almost every day. People come the first time thinking that they're gonna save a spot for the parade. Don't bring chairs. Hey, I just want to take a quick moment to talk to you. I think you are amazing, and I really am talking to you. Sometimes when I say these messages, people message me like, I know you weren't talking to me, but I am. I'm talking to you, and I want you to know how amazing you are. You are awesome. You really are. You are making the world a better place just by being here. Don't you ever forget that. Your presence in the world makes the world a better place. And I mean that. You have a supporter and a friend in Pro's Park Pass. Don't you ever forget that. All right, let's continue on with the video. I'm gonna walk into Tomorrowland here to talk about the number five thing you should never do to make a trip more enjoyable. And that's use Genie Plus for short lines. What? Don't use Genie Plus for short lines. What does that mean? Well, for example, I'm gonna walk down to uh, Star Tours right now. We'll take a look at Star Tours and we'll look and see how long the line is. Now, if the line's not long, if it's like 15 or 20 minutes or less, save your Genie Plus for that particular attraction for later on because you can only use the Genie Plus one time. So if you waste it and it's like a five minute wait and then you use your Genie Plus, you just walk around and ride. Then later on in the night when you want to ride it again, the line's a lot longer, you can't use Genie Plus. So never use your Genie Plus selection for an attraction that has a short wait line. Just don't do it because you'll waste it and you can't use it again. Okay, so you can't see that because of the, the, but it says 55. I'm sorry, it's flat. It's like, should I get that something to help? It's 55. All right, so Star Tours is 55 minutes. That would be a perfect time to use your uh, Lightning Lane, your Genie Plus Lightning Lane on that attraction because it's a long wait. A lot of times people get so excited, they run in the park and they go right to Space Mountain. They use their Genie Plus at Space Mountain and it's like a 10 minute wait when they first get here. And then later on, they're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. So don't use your Genie Plus when the attraction has got a short line. Okay, you'll be happier if you don't do that. All right, all right, we're gonna take a quick little break. I heard a rumor that in Star Trader, they're selling a Tron hat. I cannot confirm or deny that. So I'm gonna go inside and find out if it's true, because if they are, I've never, I haven't seen Tron merchandise for years. So let's go see if that's true. And then we'll get back. I thought it was just a rumor. It's legit. It's for the Tron 40th. Now check this out, guys. I'm gonna, it actually turns on. Hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The brim lights up. Okay, all right, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. 
You guys, I don't think I've ever seen, the only thing I've ever seen more beautiful than that is maybe Amanda on our wedding day. But other than that, it like it can change like a slow blink, a fast blink, or solid just like now. Ha ha ha! Ah! I bought it. I bought the Tron hat. Tron hat! Tron! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, let's move on to, what's number we on? I've gotta look, I forgot. I gotta look at my list. Okay, so the number four thing you shouldn't do is dress up as a character. Now it's gonna be tempting, so a lot of you might be want to dress up like Snow White or uh, Rapunzel or dress up like, like Han Solo. Now there's a thing called Disney bounding, that's okay, but you can't actually dress up as a, as a character if you are 14 or older. They have a rule, Disney has a rule, so if I came dressed up and completely like as Gaston and with a wig on, it looked exactly like Gaston, they wouldn't allow me into the park because they don't want the park goers to get confused with me versus the real guest on. So I cannot dress up as a costume. So don't, a lot of times people will think, well, we'll dress up, we'll have everybody go as like Snow White or, and, or, you know, and something like that. You, you can't dress up. Now, you can do what's called Dizzy Bounty. Dizzy Bounty is when you wear an outfit that's similar. So when people look at you, you're like, oh, you kind of dress like Snow White. That's okay to do, but you can't dress up in a full costume uh, unless you are the ages uh, 13 and younger for Disneyland. And I also just kind of want to say this. You know how you talk about my Tron hat? It's all on my mind. If you want to say this to parents, a lot of times when you come to Disneyland, one of the things our, we do with our kids is they want like a souvenir. Like, hey, you want a souvenir? Wait till the last day to choose what you want so you get what you really want. If the souvenir they want though, if they're talking about getting like a hat or Mickey ears, buy that on day number one because that way they can wear it the entire trip and enjoy it rather than buy it on the last day. Because when you get home, they won't wear it as much. But when they're here, they want to wear those ears all the time. So if the ears are something you want, buy that on the very first day that you can. All right, let's continue on with things you should never do at Disneyland. There goes a submarine, guys. You see Hank over there? There's little Hank. Do you know how many times you have to tickle octopus to make him laugh? 10 tickles. <laughs> oh boy. Let's continue on. All right, the number three thing you should not forget to do when you come to Disneyland is rest and drink water. Now this little bit of advice mostly goes towards dads because when we're on a vacation, we got the family here, we spent the money on vacation, we're like, we're gonna go, we're gonna have fun, you're gonna have fun. And we're trying to make sure that we squeeze as much entertainment as we can because we're spending a lot of money to come down here and go on vacation. So we're always like, let's go, let's go, let's go. You have little ones uh, and they get tired. And also, because here in, in uh, California, it gets hot, so you need to be drinking lots and lots of water to make sure that you stay hydrated, particularly your little ones. Always stop and make sure you have a hydration break and then take a rest. Because if you don't take a rest by the end of the day, then people get cranky, they get upset, and it kind of ruins the day. And they, there's a thing called recency bias. Recency bias is the most recent thing that's happened taints our whole experience, right? So if we've had a really good experience at the end of the day, then we, we look back at the day and like, oh, it's such a good day. But at the end of the day, if we're tired and we're cranky, we're like, ah, this is awful then the, we forget all the good memories of that day and it kind of taints the day as a bad day. So make sure you let your little ones drink enough water and they're, they're get enough rest so that they're enjoying it every moment. All right, easy peasy, let's continue on. All right, so the number two thing you should never do is wait in line for food. What, why? Well, here's what you can do. You can mobile order your food. If you have the app downloaded, you can actually tie your credit card right to the app and then when you get down here, you just mobile order your food. It is much quicker and more easy to do. Plus, if you have like a like a uh, like an annual pass or a dream key or whatever they call it down, it'll automatically tie your discount right to it, so you don't have to apply that. So that way, you don't have to wait. When you go to these different uh, restaurants, you can see these long lines. Those are people who are doing standby. The mobile order line, you just go there, you hit the "I'm ready to go," and it tells you right what window to go to to pick up your food. So don't wait in line. Use the mobile order. Use the mobile order. Mobile. I'm gonna see a little song for you. Mobile order, mobile order, mobile order your food. All right, so I see that line right there? That line, that's people who are waiting to order food. And now I'm just gonna mobile order. I'm gonna walk right in and get the food uh, without having to uh, uh, wait in line. So it's a mobile order, it's easy peasy. But that, that long line there, that's for people who are, who are not mobile ordering, they're waiting in line, it takes a lot longer. Save yourself some time in mobile order. Get the app, download it, get your credit card, boom, pow, easy to go. Don't wait in line. Okay, so here's how you're gonna mobile order in case you don't know how to do that. You either open up the app, 
You open up the app, you select where you want to order your food from. Right here, I'm gonna select my food from Galactic Grill. Then you're gonna select your return time. When do you want to come back? Now, here's a secret most people don't know. They'll start prepping your food five minutes before your return time. So if I select 12.25 and at 12.20 I can say I'm here, go ahead and start prepping my food five minutes earlier. Once you order your food and you get to that area, you hit I'm here, prep my food order, and boom pow, you just have to wait. It'll then notify you on your phone. Your little app will come up and let notify you, tell you which window you need to go to to pick up your food. It's that easy. Since I mobile ordered, it just tells me to go right here to window number four to pick up. I go right there and pick up my food. Boom, pow, it is that easy. Don't forget to hydrate, rest, and eat a little bit of food. I know that you're gonna be excited, you wanna run around and wanna run around and just drive it home, but you need to take your time and eat some food. Here comes Before we get to the number one thing you shouldn't do at Disneyland, let's talk about what you should do, do. What? All right, here we go. Let's say that you're thinking, you watch this video, you're thinking about, hey, I want to go down to Disneyland, I want to take my family to Disneyland, or I might want to plan a solo trip down to Disneyland, or you're just thinking, like, how do I get down here? Here's what you want to do. You can click the link down below in the description, and that'll take you to Getaway Today, and you can order your vacation there, you can get your hotels and your tickets at the very best prices you can get them at. I mean, the best prices. Or you can call them at 1-855-GETAWAY, 1-855-GETAWAY, tell them Provost Park Pass sent you, you'll get the absolute best deals that they can get you on the hotel rooms and on your tickets for Disney. I mean, that's that's how we do it. That's how we just try to pass on savings to you guys. That's the best way to book your stuff here at Disney. Click the link down below, you'll get that best rate or call. All right, now let's get to the number one thing you should never do when you're at Disneyland. What makes Disneyland so magical? I mean, so if you ask that question, you're gonna get a whole myriad of answers. Some people say, well, it's because it's so clean. Other people are gonna say, because the attractions are so fun. Some will say the entertainment. But I think what it is, when you peel back all those layers, what it comes down to, what makes Disneyland so special is the cast members. The cast members here, they go out of their way to make sure we're trying to have magical moments, have a wonderful time, and it is truly the cast members. So, the number one thing you should never ever do is be rude to a cast member. And I mean, they are here dealing with all kinds of people and talking, trying to deal with problems and trying to make people's days great. And they are just like you and me, they're real people. And sometimes our expectations maybe aren't met here at Disneyland and we get a little frustrated, like, ah, oh, why is this not happening? And we take it out on, sometimes we'll take it out on a cast member. And I've seen that happen every once in a while. Never, ever be rude to a cast member. They are trying their very best to make sure your day here at Disney is magical and wonderful. In fact, there are some cast members, like team leads, that when they see something really positive happening, something really good happen, like a family, sometimes they'll give you like a little magic memory. It's rare, but like they might say, hey, you could skip the line, whatever, for being such a kind-hearted family. Never, ever be rude to a cast member. They are amazing, and they will make they will make Disneyland so special. I'm talking ride operators, the food people, the food prep, the character performers, the, the actors, everybody, security, all of them. We love you here at Pro's Park Pass. We think you are the absolute best. We love the cast members. So that's the number one thing. I hope these tips help you guys uh, to have an amazing vacation because it is going to be awesome. When you guys come down here to Disneyland, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Anyways, if you haven't, go ahead. Wait a minute. Did you hit that like button? Okay, good. If you could, if you could hit that like button and the subscribe button, that'll really, that, it just makes me feel good. You want to do something to make me feel it goes away a long way to help support our channel uh, validate so the content we're doing is is useful and you guys like it so if you can hit that subscribe button man i really appreciate that so thank you so much